good morning YouTube. This morning we are driving through the Okoli Gorge on our way to Chattanooga. Uh, we're going over to the airport there because we've rented a car for Talon and Alyssa to drive back to Florida to get to North American truck. So got Alyssa and Talon back here and Katie. So as some of you know, the truck was left in Florida because we didn't have a load to get it back and Talon was bringing the camper back up from Florida. So gonna rent the car, they're gonna drive down there, they get a load on Monday. And what we're hoping is that, because I won't be with them and Talon and Alyssa will be running the truck by themselves, that they will do some video documentation and uh, Talon can become the host of the show for the trucking side, at least for the time being. So leave a comment below, tell me what you guys think about that. You guys want Talon to take the wheel? Talon, you gonna do it? He's a little shy about it, but I was at first too, so I'm hoping he'll get over that pretty quick. Once we get to the airport and we get them on their way, I think Katie and I are gonna go over to Crossville, Tennessee. The semi-casual truck show will be happening over there, and then we're gonna go check all that out. All right, guys, and there they go, heading off to Florida. Right, so now Katie and I are gonna start heading towards uh, Crossville, Tennessee, to head out to the semi-casual truck show. If you guys don't know who Semi Casual is, they have another YouTube channel and I've been watching them a couple of months now. So I, I guess that uh, they're part of the Fitzgerald group and I don't know all the details, so don't quote me if I'm not correct on this. Um, Fitzgerald Peterbilt. Um, I think those are the ones that kind of, you know, help kind of pioneer the whole glider thing. I know that there were Fitzgerald glider kits out there, not positive the same company, but I'm pretty sure they are. But anyway, what they do now is they take brand new Peterbilts from their dealership and then they do a bunch of customizing to them specifically for customers that have, I guess, pre-ordered them. So they do some pretty nice work on the trucks. I've been watching them for a couple of months. They're putting on a show up in Crossville, Tennessee where their shop is. So we're gonna go check that out. It's nice meeting other YouTubers. Plus there's nothing wrong with seeing some beautiful semi trucks at the same time. guys, Katie and I just made it to Fitzgerald Peterbilt. We just parked the truck, we're walking in now. Let's see what kind of nice trucks there are.
Katie and I are walking around the semi-casual show. We're taking a look at this beautiful truck back here behind me. I want you to listen very careful for a second. Do you hear that voice in the background? Yeah, we walked up in Asian Mai, Alex. He's over there doing an interview with somebody right now. So we're gonna wait till he's done and we'll stop and talk to him for a little bit. Guys, there he is. So, Alex, tell me, what is it like being a famous YouTube star running around interviewing truckers everywhere? I don't. You better stop with that. I ain't nobody. I came here. I, I get to be with him. Uh, I came in here to hang out with you. How about that? You All better right. stop that. Well, it's good seeing you again, nah, man. It's a pleasure, man. All right, guys, those of you that have known us for a long, long time, remember back in the Orlando days, we used to sponsor a stunt team and ride out at uh, Stunt Wars. And that right there behind me is Jesse Toller. We met him out there many, many years ago. Didn't know he was going to be here this weekend, but uh, he's going to do a couple stunt shows here in a little bit. And uh, we're going to try to get some footage of that as well.
past. Those of you that hung around the shop know we did a lot of stunt stuff back in the days. It's been a while since I've attended anything or seen anything like that live, but it brought back some good memories.
All right, guys, I finally tracked down Tommy and Brian from Summit Casual. These are the guys that are hosting the, the truck show here today, and they've done a fantastic job at setting these trucks up and bringing people out here. They got a lot of vendors out here as well. We had a little bit of rain today, but it's worked out well, so I'm gonna introduce you guys to you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Brian. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Brian Tommy, semi casual uh, truck show. Yeah, so here we are. This is the uh, fourth semi casual truck show we've actually had. So we've been doing the YouTube team thing for about eight months now. Um, it's it's 100% just building custom trucks. Uh, that's That's been a huge passion of mine and Brian's for a long, long time. Uh, when Brian came to work for us, what, 11 years ago? Yeah, uh, we, at we, least. We started going to a lot of truck shows just to try to get into the circuit and see what it was all about. Uh, super, super cool. Fell in love with the media, fell in love with it immediately, and just thought, you know what, we need to we need to participate in that. So we were sponsoring shows, um, and then you know it got into you know, hey, let's host our own show. And I think that first show we had, it wasn't called the Semi Casual Truck Show. That one was. Um, I think we just call it the Fitzgerald Truck Show. I think it was. Yeah, we didn't really have a name for it. We just sort of did it. And yeah. over time with that semi-casual thing, we just didn't want to make a show where people were like really judged, I guess. Like nothing that was like very strenuous. Um, and people felt like they were getting critiqued. So we were like, you know what? We traveled the country with a ton of truck shows and showing off trucks that we had done in the past and things like that. Um, and the most fun thing about all the truck shows was just hanging out with all our friends. So we we're like, let's just have a truck show and like make it real laid back and they all got to judge themselves. Yeah, so the way the judging works in this particular show uh, was a format that Brian came up with where basically if uh, if you register a truck into the truck show, you get a sheet and with that sheet you get to fill it out and say, these are the trucks that I like the most, here are my top 10 and here is the one I think's got the best engine, the best paint and the best, you know, uh, interior. Yeah. And so, out of all that, it's basically we tally everything up. It's judged by the people who enter the contest, and so it takes it takes a whole lot of the politics out of it. Yeah, it just, I mean? it makes it so it's fun. Everybody has a good time, and honestly, I think if you win a trophy at this show, it probably it, it means more because it was by peers. Yeah, it was by and the all, people. and all your friends. So it, it makes it kind of cool, and everybody can have fun. Definitely by the people who know most about the trucks. It's the guys driving them. So, yeah, very, very cool, and um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. We had a great turnout, awesome trucks here, so. Yeah. All right, guys, so if you like custom trucks and you're not watching the Semi-Casual Show, you really need to be. Check out their channel. It's got some really, really cool stuff. I highly endorse it. Thank you.
guys, I think that's going to be it for the semi-casual truck show. Kate and I are going to start heading back home to North Carolina. We've got a couple hours drive ahead of us still. It was really cool seeing Alex again. And, uh, I had a chance to spend a little time with him and hang out and talk a little bit. He's actually a really, really cool guy. It was also really cool being able to meet uh, Tommy and Brian from the Sunday Casual Show. They were really cool as well. Um, talked with them about a bunch of stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to do some more together in the future. And, uh, so leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the, the truck show, about the trucks that you saw. What one was your favorite? Also tell me what you think about talent hosting the trucking side of the YouTube channel since I won't be on some of the trips. Uh, I think it's a good idea. For now, we're going to get in our dually and head back home. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. And until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.